Hey Scorpio, welcome to your summer love reading. Now over on Vimeo, we have a more traditional tarot reading, can be on any topic um, that resonates with you. Uh, it is talking about sort of some issues of uh, fairness and integrity and sort of flipping the script or trying to make a, a turnaround on a situation. Um, Sort of, sort of a, a stuck situation. I don't know that it's going to get unstuck, but at least like your mental space or how you think about it needs to, need, it could improve. There's improvement available there. So, all right. So for romance, let's see. And honestly, half of these have been like the most unromantic non-romance readings I've ever seen. So we'll see. I'd love for like a lovely fairy tale to come through, but I don't, so far no one's gotten that. So birds, it's available on YouTube though. There's a thousand readers ready to give you the most romantic story you've ever seen. So if you need that, you can find it. Birds I view, their position, your position, possible action, results of that action, and how you might grow from this. Wow. Okay. Well, um, oh my goodness. This puppy has shown up repeatedly in every single reading this fork in the road in reverse specifically. So um, there's only one thing on the upright, which is really interesting because it's the same card that was overall for the reading on Vimeo, this to be fair justice card. Um, okay, well, let's get going. And then let's not forget, there will be clarifiers coming through on the second half. So I'm just going to read these cards and then we'll pull um, some more cards from different Oracle decks. So, um, birds I view, I don't, not, not, uh, feeling like there's, um, divine guidance here or it's higher power in reverse. So, so not feeling connected to your path, your journey to higher guidance, to something feels, something here feels not, part of the divine plan, which is not possible, right? Everything's part of this, this whole universe is interconnected and we're all part of, um, an intelligence, a, a, a unified intelligence, and we're all part of that. So being outside of that doesn't seem possible, but something here, someone's out of sorts. Someone's not listening to their higher self, their higher power. There's a spiritual disconnect. Now that's not to say it's, it's anything's like, right? We're not outside the plan. And yet part of the plan is to talk about this spiritual disconnect. There might be a connection in your life that's not very spiritual, not very empowering. Um, maybe you have different spiritual beliefs. And maybe someone here just doesn't feel a divine connection. Okay, their position. Um, this is so funny because this one too. It's just like no, just saying, keep things stay the same. Um, so new life. Uh, they're not. They don't. They don't want a new life. They're happy where they're at even if this isn't like the, the deepest connection that they've felt either with you or with anyone, they're still very happy with where they're at. They're not looking for anything new. They're not wanting anything new. They're, they might be like a little bit asleep at the wheel, sort of, you know, they're not feeling refreshed. They may, they may be feeling actually this is same old, same old. They might not be ready to wake up or they might not just, they might be feeling a little bored. Not having a moment here or not, not feeling a sense of renewal and they might be happy like that, or they might be starting to like realize that something doesn't feel very fresh or new or, or connected anymore. Your position, fork in the road, you're not really looking for anything else. You're not looking, you don't feel like you have a choice perhaps. 
uh, the fork in the road means there's no fork in the road and if there is you didn't see it so um, and it can also mean like there might have been like a false fork in the road but it's not a real choice there's just this is the lovers which is decisions fork in the road forks in the road um, decisions and um, and in the reverse it's like there's either no choice to be made there just doesn't appear to be a lot of options or a lot of choices or decisions to be made right now so they're kind of asleep at the wheel and you don't see that there's something else out there that there's a that there could even be a fork in the road you're not seeing that either so um so you don't see other options this new life in reverse can also be that there's not anybody new right um and the, and so you're not seeing the new option here you're not because there isn't a new option um and so that's why you're not seeing it there's no new option they're not if they exist at all they're not um they don't have anything new going on they don't have like a new little side piece or whatever i mean maybe they do but this is a general tarot reading um so i think most most romance tarot readings are going to be it's a third party um and that's definitely not what i'm seeing here there's not a third party situation that we're talking about we, there might not even be a two-party situation with this whole nobody knew here and you're not there you're not in a position to make a different choice than the one you have been making and yet something feels not powerful something feels weak maybe that's what it is the connection feels weak if there is a connection it feels weak but there's not like a really there's not a clear choice it's there's not like a crisis point coming in this summer or anything like that where decisions have to be made we have to figure out what we want in life and that kind of thing that's not happening this summer anyway for the the people i'm reading for so possible action to be fair balance insight integrity well there's a wedding here there's a there's commitment and there's balance it's just make sure the relationship is balanced make sure there's reciprocation there's give and take balancing the potential with the reality insight nobody again nobody's going anywhere there's not any movement here sometimes this owl is flying sometimes it's not um so there's commitment here and and as in actions things may be out of balance or but it's there's so much just being here Make sure you're being fair to each other. Make sure you're the, the you're, there's some sort of reciprocation, right? Relationships have times where one person needs more and another person needs more and that kind of thing, right? Like, but overall, we don't want someone, you know, always giving and someone always receiving or demanding. And then the giver, you know, gets depleted because they're not putting limits on their giving and the demanders like, ballooning in power because they've got someone giving to them all the time so um giving them energy so they're getting double energy and so much so not that so we're just making sure that you're being fair and you're being i feel like honest fair committed to your futures but there's two futures to be committed to um being wise this is very much like a king of swords energy there might be a judge here or something. There's just some sort of balance. Just keeping it balanced. It's a Libra card, which we're always going to see when we see scales. Um, weighing options and, and being fair with them. But there is a sense of potential and keeping those potentials in balance almost like if you're with someone it's like safeguarding each other's futures and being fair to each other um, in this process so results of you guys being fair you're not running out of time like 
again, this reading is so funny. It's so in line with all the rest of them. Um, not all the rest of them, but most of them. Like, you're not running out of time. There's not a crisis here. We're not, we're not, maybe something feels a little like lackluster. Doesn't feel very powerful right now. Just make sure you're being fair to each other. But there's, there's no time issue here. Like, there, you're not out of time. There's no panic. You can just let go of time constraints or considerations. Maybe letting go of your timeline. There's like, in a sense here, dropping some sort of timing expectation. Like if you're expecting to get married by a certain time, um, being fair and sort of allowing the timeline to change or allowing, allowing some sort of timing to just do its own thing. You're not running out of time. There's no panic. It's not time to press the panic button. Time is not an issue here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> just worry about being fair and being balanced and having a balanced relationship. And don't worry about like how, maybe even when someone can reciprocate or how something is gonna, or when something happens, any kind of timeline issue can just be just be dropped because I think if there is a timeline issue or if someone has like, I need to have, you know, this locked down by this time, it's not part of the actual overall plan and it's not part of um, a spiritual sort of connection. It's not, it's not necessary. It's not part of the plan. So being fair to everyone involved, that's for you to do. And somehow that relates to like timing being less of an issue. Um, and how you might grow from this, this is really interesting. Again, we have our owl here and it's co-create, but it's in reverse. You might not be co-creating with this person. You might not, maybe you thought you guys were going to work together. Maybe you thought you guys were going to have like a child together or something like that, but it's not going to happen. There's like something that's not going to be combined. Maybe you thought you guys were going to do something together like this summer, but you're not co-creating. If you don't, I mean, this makes a lot of sense if there's nobody here, right? No new life, no new person. If there's nobody here for you and you're single and it feels weird, but, um, but you're just being honest and true to who you are, and you're dropping whatever timing issue. I thought I'd be with someone by now. I thought I'd be having babies by now. I thought I'd be doing some relationship thing by now. I thought we'd be like engaged by now or whatever. Um, it could be that this is not actually something that you guys are going to end up doing together after all. Um, or it could be that you're not going to join forces or like you thought you were going to go on a trip together this summer and you're not going to. If, if you're single and there's nobody new here, which it could very, which it very much looks like that could be the case, uh, dropping your time, any sort of timing expectations you had for yourself, um, you won't be suddenly co-creating with someone by the end of the summer and, and like sort of looking at that. And for some reason you're growing from that. That's how you grow is you decide you're to not co-create with someone or not do something with someone. So that doesn't necessarily mean that you're breaking up with someone or you're never going to get together or you're never, it just means like this in the timing of this video, you're not, and you're learning that you're growing in that way. It's causing growth. This not combining forces is actually really healthy for you right now and really important to not create that, not do the things together or not do the thing together right now. Cause like some, something about it isn't fair, like is, is going to create an imbalance in the relationship if you do that. So there's something about how you're growing. You're growing through not co-creating. You're growing through creating your own thing, doing your own thing. And we have this like wise owl, maybe even seeing something from a different perspective, um, realizing that, that you don't have to do that right now or this summer or whatever. Like there's no timeline for this co-creation and, and how you grow. Growth for you would be not going ahead with something 
right now. Like, let time do a little bit more work here for you. All right, so we're going to take some clarifiers here. So who are they? Who are you? Oh, that's fascinating. Virgo also got that one, but they were showing up as the peacock. Um, what's the, I'm opening up these, I'm splitting the deck and then pulling from the inside. So bird's eye view, the results modify our action. Tell us more about this action we're taking or not taking and how you might grow from this. Learned my lesson, taking one card from that. Oh, this is so fascinating. How, like I, I follow the shuffle science and still and you know i'm i'm opening up very randomly at spots still we have repeats so touch the sky there's some sort of uh, i love how both of these have sky both of these have dreams and this is just considering a dream considering a possibility um so you're not necessarily living your dream right now but you might be considering the dream you aren't in the vision right now you aren't in the what you would say your best life right now but you are thinking about it i love how she's like um like dreaming up here and she's just sort of sending out this like sort of test balloon or something or like what if we talked about this what if what if i did this what if i approached someone what if i finally asked somebody out and what if i you know, what if I did this? Um, so there's just still, this is very dreaming, very dreamy energy here about your path and like what it would be like. You're not, you don't feel like you're in it, but I think you're ready to kind of talk about it, make some initial first steps. Um, but you're not feeling like, yes, I am on my path. This is exactly where I want to be um, forever and ever. And, um, and so there is like a disconnect too. And this is like um, a sort of a test run on reconnection or on connection. There might be messages sent. You're still holding back a lot. You're not like jumping in with both feet with some sort of like dream or higher plan or, or idea or vision. You're just doing some tests. And that's the overall bird's eye view. They're showing up as either non-existent or same old, same old peacock spirit. There is something very flashy here very true to who they are let it shine is what it says so they're doing what they always do but they are very attractive to you and they are very if there's someone here they're very bold perhaps they're very much in their life and in their element they're living their truth so if anyone here is like not doing their thing they're doing their thing if there's someone here, they're doing their thing and they have for a while. If there's not someone here, they are doing their thing um, and you just haven't met them yet. Uh, and they might be a little bit of a show off. They might be a little bit um, really in their element, really having their moment. And this is this whole like spray of feathers is all uh, to attract a mate. It's all to, attra to attract someone. So they may be out looking for someone or they may be, I mean, there's not someone new here. There's not like a, third party thing here but they may be really thriving right now or looking very attractive right now um yeah but there's still something about like it's nothing new there's nothing new here so uh you are showing up as otter spirit you're never alone oh look they're together right so if you're with someone um there's not a fork in the road and they're with you you're you're with someone if you're not with someone you're not like fully alone here either but yeah love is on the mind in the heart this could be part of what you're dreaming of but there's there is connection here there's a deep heartfelt connection and there's not really not really you're not looking for anything else there's no fork in the road there's no decision to be made so your action we had like to be fair being honest being fair taking a way of integrity making sure everything's balanced we have the empress so you do have what it takes you maybe there's a mother vibe here with the empress there is a source of of life and power so 
you have you have what it takes to be fair you have plenty to be fair from so if you're if this is about balance and sharing um you you can there's nothing to be like doled out here or stressed out about so if you're being asked to share with someone you can the empress is also is great solo there's not like a big amount of stress on her about like finding someone to um to provide because she's got what she needs she's got so you've got what you need and you might need to share it right now for a time period right um oh we have muse of voices so king of swords so this would be being being honest being clear oh didn't i say that about this like this had real king of swords energy to me like a judge or justice being fair being honest being truthful and king of swords what's especially coming in here with this is um is he's usually depicted with his sword so the truth right and and clarity and clear thinking but it's off to the side because he understands he understands that we don't necessarily apply fairness exactly so this would be like don't be the bean counting you have enough you have plenty if someone else is having um, a financial struggle or something like that don't worry about it overall we're looking overall being fair and so the king of voices or the muse of voices in this deck or the king of swords um he sees extenuating circumstances like don't worry about extenuating circumstances this is not i mean that the, take them into account right there's especially if you have an emotional relationship with someone um being taking too much logic or too much harsh truths is not the way to go here we're looking at being fair and that's exactly what the the king of voices or the king of swords brings a lot of fairness to an otherwise sort of sharp pokey suit um, that we have with the swords or the voices like we can have sharpish communication our queen of voices is a little bit sharpish communication so this is just like being gentle with that being gentle with the other person and if there's nobody here for you if you're not coupled this is like don't be overly like judgmental people that are covered coupled or don't be like too negative or too harsh on on ideas of love i mean which is like what you want actually <laughs> So, um, and then you, we have the hero font. So this is very traditional. And this is really interesting because we also have a wedding dress here and the hero font can talk about marriage, talk about traditional institutions. So, um, so a traditional relationship. Yeah. There's not really a lot of like hinky third party stuff going on here. And the hero font also committed commitment to a path, long-term commitment to a path. Um, so with, if you're with someone, it's like a long-term commitment where no big changes, but there's also a possibility that some of you aren't with someone, um, but you are looking for something that is long-term, um, and you do need to be fair and you do have what it takes. Like you have abundance. This is, this relationship is you're thinking about an institution of a relationship, like something that's traditional, um, and you just need to be, be fair. You can be fair. You're in a position to be very fair here. So to be more than fair. What is that? To be generous. You're in a position to be generous right now. And it's okay if the scales go out of balance because overall they're balanced. Um, and this also justice and the hero font here. Oh, this could be a legal situation as well. Um, but justice and the hero font and the, yeah, someone could be a judge or a lawyer here. You could be dealing with an institution. I think we'll just, there's commitment. You have plenty of resources. You have something you can give. You can get, you're giving out of a source, out of a place of abundance here. Um, you're being generous, more than fair. Um, and it does, it does have like some sort of solidifying effect on the relationship. It can help someone feel like we're in this together and right. Cause you're in this together, right? So, um, and doesn't really might not even feel like much of a choice for you or much of a decision to make like of course i'm going to help you with this or of course you know if we want to go on my vacation i might need to help you pay to go on the vacation with me otherwise i'm going on vacation by myself because i have more money or whatever right so some sort of generosity here it, you can do it uh no time we we're not running out of time there isn't like a time constraint we have abracadabra so we do have you being able to um, the results of you being generous here, basically, and 
I want to, it says to be fair, but I think it's to be more than fair because you're committed to the long-term health of a situation. So this abracadabra is about being able to make something happen. Um, and that, that, that you've grown enough and you've, um, again, we have another wedding dress here. So, so this is, this is being able to make something happen, being able to grow, um, into a role, being able to grow into a position where you can, um, be a bit of a fairy godmother. You can be helpful. Um, you can, you've grown enough that, that it's almost like it's, you can make this thing happen. It's no longer an urgent situation. It's not an urgent situation, but you could make something happen now, but there's time is on your side. So I feel like you are going to be able to make something happen. You are going to either grant someone a wish or, and it is with words. There is some sort of conversation here. You are going to get what you want, but you have to let go of any sort of timing constraint on it. And then we have um, this no co-creation, not, not working with either this person or just um, not ready to co-create right now and uh, how you might grow from this secret spring success. So this could be an indication um, of uh, next spring, uh, there being success or so secret spring though, there may, maybe you elope instead of getting married. Uh, maybe something happens in secret um, very successfully and you keep it quiet, but success. I mean, success. And this abracadabra also talks about success. And this talks about success. The Empress talks about success. We have a lot of success here, but it just is like dropping the time constraint and making sure that you're being really fair and generous to the other person because you're building an institution. So we don't need to be bean counting every day. We need to be looking at the overall direction of things. Um, so you're going to be very successful though, but there is a sense of dropping that timing issue. So I hope that that was helpful for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for joining me over here. Um, and if you want to join me over on Vimeo, the link is in the description box. It should take you directly to the Scorpio reading. Thank you.